Hello everybody, it's -a me, Jacobio4. Um, and here I am, do another time to play. Um, so it's time to play some Super Mario Galaxy on the Wii. Super Mario Galaxy! Which I'm actually playing on my Wii U, um, because backwards compatibility is awesome. So, uh, the reason why I'm playing this game right now is because um, I saw a, another YouTuber do like a video review of it, and it made me really just want to play a little bit of Super Mario Galaxy. Um, I'm going to turn my TV down. I can barely hear myself talk. Super Mario Galaxy is one of my favorite 3D Mario games. Um, you can see here I have no planets because I haven't played this on the Wii U. Uh, I've only played it on my Wii, so I'm starting from the beginning. Um, let's go with the Yosh Master for my planet. So, you might notice that my hand's a little shaky here on the screen. It's because my hands are actually a little shaky for real. Um, I have hand tremors. It means my hands always subtly are shaking. Sometimes it's almost unnoticeable. Um, other times it's pretty bad. And it usually depends on like how, I don't know, um, excited I am, or how much adrenaline I got going on. And so you might be wondering, what was he doing to be so excited or have so much adrenaline? Well, um, I was just playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on the Switch, because I just got a Nintendo Switch, and um, it, it was just, my heart was racing. My little heart can take it. I should be narrating this for you. The Toads brought the shooting stars to the castle, where they became a great power star. I missed the beginning. It should have been a very happy time for the citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom. That was the night of the Star Festival, held once every hundred years to celebrate the comet. Dear Mario, I'll be waiting for you at the castle on the night of the Star Festival. There's something I'd like to... WHAT?! It's SEX NIGHT! Look at that, that is... You know what Mario knows what he's getting. This plumber's gonna lay some pipe. Alright. Man, it has been a long time since I played this game. So... Yeah. Wow. Just wonderful. Um... It's amazing how well this game holds up graphically, considering how old it is. Um, this game came out in 2007, I believe? December of 2007? And it's just... Um, I, I actually rented this game right when I got my Wii U, because I got my Wii U in March of 2008. The airship theme is just amazing. From Super Mario Bros. 3, which is what's playing right now. One of my favorite Mario songs of all time. Mario Pieces. Princess Peach, you are formally invited to the creation of my new galaxy. <laughs> this festival's over! I know boobs when I see boobs, and so does Peach apparently. And those are definitely boobs. Um, 
Um, so oh, I, I should have talked during a whole gap rather than start talking right when the cutscene came back on. Yeah, seriously, no. Really? Did they not think about what those look like? Come on. I'm sure this joke has been made a bajillion times over the last 10 years. That, hey, this game has been out for almost 10 years now, 2017. Crazy. And this new music is phenomenal, made for this game. The full orchestrated beats, fully orchestrated pieces. Huh, mind blowing. Teeny little planet. Uh, yeah. Finally, you're awake. Let's play. I don't know what accents I'm doing. Whee! Whee! So, um, finishing up what I was talking Whee! about, I got my Wii in March of 2008, and, um, uh, Shortly after I rented this game, I don't know why I didn't just buy it straight out because I knew it was a Mario game, you know, I was gonna be good. Um, I'd played Galaxy and I had played, um, oh, that was easy. Um, I had played Super Mario, Sun or I'd played Sunshine and I had played Super Mario 64 a ton. Um, but for some reason I rented it. Uh, I don't know why. And then I subsequently bought it after like playing the shit out of it over the five days that I had it rented for. It's funny because this game has physics all wrong. That's okay. Obviously it has physics all wrong. I'm running around on a tiny planet. I'm having a tough time catching this bunny and I'm getting a little busy. Um, speaking of this planet, the, the, this planet and like just the flexibility of these worlds and what they could do by going into space and sort of making up their own rules about it um, is phenomenal. Just some of the most enjoyable level and world design out of any Mario game that I have ever played. Um, this this might be my favorite 3D Mario game, personally. Um, it's tough to beat Super Mario 64, but if I put nostalgia aside, I don't know. I just remember having a ton of fun on this one. I don't know where this last rabbit's at. I probably have to jump in more holes. It's been a long time since I played this. Pipe? Uh, 
That sounds about right. There we go. Yeah, I just love jumping around these planets, and they're so small, and you, a lot of times you can get, like, spinning around them, um, and just really feel the freedom that comes with this game, and the wonderfulness. Also, they introduced this lady, and she's pretty sweet. And she's become a fan favorite character ever since, and now she's in like all the Mario games. All the side Mario games, like Mario Kart and Mario Party. The ability to spin. They. <laughs> that sounds so wonderful. I can spin. You spin me right round, baby, right round like a Koopa baby, right round, round now. Oh, I'll shake my weed. <laughs> So just to, um, the YouTuber, if you're interested, that got me interested in playing this again, or, you know, just enjoying it a little bit again, um, his name is, uh, or his YouTube alias is Some Call Me John. He does tons of reviews of a lot of Nintendo games and a lot of other games, too. Um, and they're really just, I enjoy listening to him talk, and he's got such a a clear mind about all his games he plays, like, such a good... I like his opinions, I like what he has to say, um, he's very unbiased as far as it goes, and, I mean, okay, so he's giving opinions, obviously, which are subjective, which is nothing but the highest sense he's doing reviews, but he does it in a very well laid out, well thought out way, and he explains where he's coming from on anything that he has to say, which is just interesting to listen to. Even though, you know, I have already played most of the games he talks about. Um, granted, I'm watching older videos, but check them out um, if you're interested. That thing said, oh, I gotta kill these things probably. There we go. It's a little baby star. So I can use the Wii Remote Pointer to pick up these star bits. So I said this video is a time to play, and it'll be put in my time to play playlist. Um, I think I might have mentioned this in some video somewhere at some point in time, I don't remember. Um, the time to play series is sort of like, I'd like to think of it as being like a let's play, except I'm not necessarily going to play through an entire game. It's basically, I. it's just me taking time to play another game, uh, and doing the same video commentary, live commentary that you would see in one of my Let's Plays. So, um, if people were to like it enough, um, 
I would consider like transforming the game uh, play, you know, I would consider moving it over and doing more of a let's play. And maybe sometimes even with my time plays, I won't be starting at the beginning of a game. I might go to a game that I have already have in progress and just record some gameplay of that. But the main idea is that um, it's like a let's play, but it's like a singular episode of one. That's, that's the idea. So you'll have a lot of variety in the games that you'll see me playing in it. Um, they probably won't be super frequent because I'm pretty focused on my focused as far as I go on my Let's Plays. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing here, just for a little bit of a background. It's one of multiple um, video type series that I'm trying to go with right now on my channel. I, I like to have a variety and I like to keep them organized, have different sort of series or themes to my videos. Uh, let's Plays are obviously just game playthroughs. Um, Time to play is our shorter version. So, um, I have gaming with the crew, which is just random gameplay with my friends where there's commentary from us, either with or without video. Um, that's three of them. Uh, Scaredy Cat plays. That's when I play scary games. I only got one episode of that out at the time of making this one, and that's because I'm a scary cat, as the title suggests. Uh, that was that was rough on me. Um, I if you uh, yeah. Um, I have straight up gameplay, which is nothing but. Straight up gameplay, no commentary, no video, just uh, watching me play games. Usually that's going to be focused around multiplayer games, individual matches of multiplayer. So I have a lot of Halo videos up of that. Uh, maybe I'll get some Overwatch or some Call of Duty or Star Wars Battlefront or something else in there as well. And then I have montages that I make slowly over time. Um, I think that touches most of what I've got going on. And I think I might have a few other themes in the works, but we'll see how time allows in my schedule. It's my home, and also home to the Lumas. You see, we travel the starry skies. We pass by this area once every 100 years, but we suddenly stopped in front of this planet. A strange force had latched onto our ship, pulling away star bits and our power source, Power Stars. Our ship had lost power, so it entered a deep hibernation state in which we could not move. Those who took your special one picked up the power stars and discovered the power to cross the universe. Boozer. Please. They gave her one voice. Word. I have a request. The observatory uses star power to project images of the galaxies that are scattered across space. And there's a chance we can use a few remaining stars to look for other power stars. Those room ground rooms are called domes. We observe galaxies from domes such as these, but only one that is working right now, powered by the star power that you restored, is this one, the Terrace. So, a typical Mario game, um, with a little bit more plot than usual. We're up in space. So, Mario in space. Uh, Peach is captured, and we gotta go find power stars, which now power the observatory rather than powering paintings so that we can go find more galaxies and the power of the observatory more in the spaceship and save the princess. Uh, the reason why I chose to start a new game while playing this instead of going with my in-progress one is because, like I said, my in-progress save was on my Wii and my capture card only supports HDMI. Um, which the Wii was not a high-definition console, so... Sorry, a little bit of a stomachache. Um, so I had to go with this, and which meant starting over, and I was fine with that. Um, I had never earned the 120 stars on the Wii version. I was at, like, 103 or 104, so I'm getting close to, like, beating the game fully and getting Luigi unlocked. Um, but... I would have, even if I had been recording that, that would have just been a whole lot of frustration. Uh, because, man, some of those final stars are a bear to get. Although, I'm also not looking forward to redoing some of the stars that I already got as I play this, but I'm not going to get very far in this episode. So, if you want to see more Super Mario Galaxy, be sure to let me know in the comments, um, and I'll consider either just doing a few more kind of plays of this, go a little bit further, or if you really like this game and you really want to see me play through it, uh, let me know and I'll consider starting a slow Let's Play. I, def 
I've already got three Let's Plays in progress right now, so um, I would focus on those before this, but I would definitely queue this up. You know, I got I got all the time in the world. Um, I'm done with college, I'm done with school, I'm just working and living, and so eventually I will just kind of, I'm basically my plan is to just keep on, uh, keep on trucking and um, making videos over time and playing games and living. You know, that's what life's all about, right? Uh, not, not games, but just living and doing things. This is definitely a fine instance of a game where I do not mind motion controls. Um, I think it's just well implemented here. Well, that didn't go well. These things are really hard to hit and destroy by yourself. Um, so this Mario game actually allows for two players, per se. Um, oh, shit. I'm gonna die here. This is terrible. Uh, so a second player can use a single Wii Remote, and sort of if you've been seeing my ukulele Let's Play, um, you hear me reference Mario Galaxy a lot with when I'm talking with Evan, and how he controls all those little bees, the bees knees. Um, that was a feature in this game. The person with the Wii Remote can pick up star bits and stun enemies and actually even make me go, um, which is a little bit obnoxious, but hilarious at some points in time. And if you time it right, it can actually be used to make you jump even higher, and so it can be beneficial. safe because I don't really have any confidence in my platforming abilities at this moment. I gotta say, it is definitely the right number. Four starts feeling too long. Uh, two is like, what was the point? And one is obviously even more so. Ba -ba -ba -ba. 
Yeah, I got a star. I probably have a time for another star, I would think. A good egg galaxy. Sure. They look like tasty treats, I'm not gonna lie. I don't wanna feed you, you fatty. <laughs> They're the most tasty treats ever. Feed me. I'm um, reading out loud some of the things that people are saying, the dialogue in the game, when they don't speak themselves. It's sort of a newer thing that I did in this video. If you like that, let me know too. Maybe I can do that in other games or for other videos where they don't talk. Uh, if you'd rather I skip through that entirely or just keep talking about whatever during the time. Yeah. The possibilities are literally endless. Like, there's at least infinite possibilities, maybe even two infinite possibilities. Okay, so this level has a secret bonus area where... So I want to get as many star bits as possible. You gotta have enough star bits to feed a fatty. So... I'm gonna try to gather them and see if I can't get that right out of the way. It's weird. This is the first time I've been really playing, other than the shooters that I play, which are a little bit different, I've been playing a single player game where I actually know what I'm doing. Uh, like, I've played this game before quite a bit. Thank you. Hmm. Zelda lets me climb trees. I always thought when this game came out, it was the most disappointing thing in the world that this world has, um, can I zoom in on this game? I can't remember. No. Um, I was fighting on top of, or this world has like a Yoshi egg on it, this galaxy, and I was always like, oh man, they're gonna have Yoshi in this game. No. No. We're saving Yoshi for the sequel, you bunch of dicks. It was just the worst tease. It wasn't even a tease because you don't... It was the worst mis mislead, most misleading thing ever. I was still young enough to believe that, like, there might be a secret to it if I explored long enough. But I was also old enough where I was at the point in time that I was like, Oh, 
I can Google this and see if that's a thing. Um, and it wasn't. My little heart was broken. I cried for days, weeks, years even. See, there it is. There that egg is. More like the lying egg galaxy. Am I right? Huh? <laughs> yeah. Got him. Nailed it. Don't need to kick myself in the ass here. This game will do it enough for me. There we go. We're getting... I should have enough star bits pretty quick here. I'd like to be on the safe side, though, because I am definitely going for that bonus star rather than the regular star. Although, the regular star is a really fun one to get to. Shit! I got 100 already, I got an extra life. If I'm really careful, I can hit these things. But I don't know how careful I am. Not careful enough. I don't remember how many I need, which is a little bit frustrating. I don't know which star will send me which way either. Let me go get this coin. Okay, this is just send me to that coin. Okay, okay, I can do this. I can hit one of these. Nope! Nope. Cannot. I'm not gonna try it again. I'm gonna kill myself. Although I did hear that thing fall. Well, that's not where I wanted to go. Oh, it sends you back if you want to try to get more things. Not what I wanted. I have no idea where I'm going. And here is the culprit, this planet. This guy needs 200 star bits. I'm gonna be upset. I don't think it's that many. Oh, just 100? Man, I'm good to go. That, that can't be healthy. So that's what happens when you feed a star, it turns into a planet. Because science. Trying to take shortcuts. Yeah! Look at me and my cool shortcuts. I'm a little bit less concerned with collecting star bits now that I've uh, gotten here. <laughs> This is a pretty cool play, anti-gravity place. Um, let's try going this way. One, two, 
Shortcuts! Uh. See, the level design is just phenomenal. That's what I wanted. Bam! That is so satisfying. Oh, cool. So the secret star is where the actual star that I wanted to get was. I didn't know you could just long jump to that. Because usually you gotta grab those four blue little things on the five blue little things and then pull your way to it. I was gonna show you cool hops around the thing, but then I just grabbed the star immediately. Meh. Oh yeah, new galaxy, yay. Um, so if you wanna see more of this, I'm probably gonna wrap this up here, but be sure to let me know. Let me know what you think about talking to talk for these guys. Well done, Brave Explorer. You've discovered a new galaxy. Uh, hope you enjoyed this, as always, and we will catch you next time.